Hey everybody. We had a bad storm here a couple days ago. So uh, Kylo, my uh, pizza oven, and uh, Luke, which is my small uh, grill, got blown off completely. So I just want you to see this. I mean, so everything's fine. I took the chimney off and I wrapped it up earlier because the cover uh, was ripped completely. And uh, so that was something, but uh, it's, I tested it, looks like it's working. I haven't actually gone through a full test where I lit up a pizza or anything, um, but the door got bent, so I had to get the tools out and bang it straight, um, but it fits on nicely, so that's uh, good. And then this guy, my baby Kamado, Luke, was, uh, was damaged. Well, it wasn't damaged, I mean, that's a lie. It uh, was blown off completely, which is surprising because these things are heavy. Uh, I didn't see any cracks. Well, again, once I get some wood in there and smoke it, we'll see what it looks like, uh, if there's any problems that develop from it. But uh, yeah, it was a problem. So um, that uh, talk about is that the stuff out in the garden, my mini farm, has gone completely crazy. Uh, we had the first day of rain we've had in a long time in the last couple of days. Um, but a rainstorm with some bad winds that kind of blew everything around. Um, it took my pergola out completely. Um, if, uh, sorry, <laughs> took my pergola out completely. So if you live in an HOA, a lot of times uh, you'll find that the pergolas, I didn't have it anchored properly, which is on me, but uh, because it's, I had a pergola, usually the air can flow just like it does on that pergola. The air can just flow through it, but for whatever reason, the cover on top of it, it treated it like a sail and it just moved and blew it away. So I had to uh, chop it down and replace it maybe. So I'm going with umbrellas this time. Like that umbrella went through 100 mile an hour winds over the last few storms. And the only thing that happened is that the solar reflector at the top uh, was popped off. Um, I put it back on, it looks like it's working. So I'm going with umbrellas. That's an 11 foot umbrella. I put an 11 foot on this side and I think I'll be fine. Anyway, looking at the rest of the garden stuff. Me, uh, so as you can see, mojito mint, regular mint, I call it the BP mint, going crazy. This bergamot is not liking, I just planted that and it is not liking where it is at all. So I don't know what to do about that. I might have to transplant it into something else. Could be the soil is too wet, I see. Um, because it gets full sun out here, so I'm not sure what it is. The sage is doubled. I just put this in this weekend, and it's already doubled in size as far as what it looks like. Um, and then I've got, you can see the time. If you guys remember, it was a little small, little sprig in there. Got a couple of weeds. I got a weed out of there. Uh, this mint uh, went, it, it is zombie mint. So it goes from dead, and then it comes back to life. This guy stopped propagating and now you can actually see it starting to go to seed. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about that if I'm gonna clip them off and force it, but I haven't harvest, harvested uh, this uh, at all. Same thing with my oregano, just got this in last weekend. I put it in here and it's already uh, twice as big as it was. So that's pretty cool. My uh, rosemary, it is a slow grower, but I'm pretty happy about that. I think it's because of the pot that it's in. The cherry bush had a couple blossoms on it, but I haven't seen any of the Barbados cherries pop up yet um, on it, but hopefully we can get there. Walk out here to the rest <coughs> of the garden. Let's see what we got. So uh, those sprigs that you see there coming up, those are, I believe, those are either the bok choy or one of the other leafy greens that I picked up from the seed. I plant them from seeds. So I can't remember what seeds they are, but as you can see, those three, I transplanted them out of the um, stand over there, uh, which got knocked over by the way. So that's the other tragedy is it was completely just knocked over. The wind just disrespected my entire garden. So I went ahead and did that. The small watermelons are starting to grow. These watermelon bushes are going crazy. See that, look at this guy. Right, so we should have something in here soon. The green onions are starting to, uh, they're not filling out. So I'm kind of concerned about that. Um, 
I don't know what to do about that, but you can see these things, the leaky greens. This is the, I believe the purple bok choy. And it's starting to really look well, look nice. And all of my purple oregano has gone to see some beautiful flowers. Um, I let it go to seed so it would help with the pollinators, attract them. So there's that. Let's go over to my tomato garden, as you can see. Here we've got a few tomatoes that are starting to pop up. Let's go on the back side. Look at that guy right there. Got a couple tomatoes. Look at my peppers. And these things are hot, which is, I like hot. And they are actually hot. I wasn't sure what type of pepper it was, but it's hot. This uh, tomato plant is abundant. Now, I say that, but I've got some rocks. I've got some worms in here. I have to take care of that, but I've got like all kinds of branches with tomatoes popping up. I got these down here, these big ones. I hope that they um, don't break the branch. You see it's kind of weak. So if that doesn't work, I'll probably just uh, take that group and cut them up and make some fried green tomatoes, put them in some cornmeal. Got this guy here. So the tomatoes are coming along well. If you look inside there, you see some more tomatoes. Yeah, there are a couple in here somewhere. Tomatoes, tomatoes. So they're all different varieties of tomatoes, which is pretty cool. Now, I haven't seen nothing to be clean except flowers on the zucchini, nothing. So I'm not sure. I, I did come out and start doing pollination on them with the brush, but um, that hadn't been as successful, I guess, as I wanted. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get that done. And then uh, I do have some pretty impressive okra, though. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Some okra. I got like three or four okra, and I got another bud or two coming in. So the okra plant is really starting to enjoy itself. I'll tell you, you know who's a savage? It's this damn cucumber. See, this cucumber right here is right here, right? But it has spread and it is choking out some of the other plants. It is a bully. So I've got to get a trellis to put it in or put it in a different pot or something. But it has started to molest the eggplant over here. It is all in the eggplant's business. It is all in these peppers over here, which are finally starting to blossom. So I got to figure out what to do about that, but the cucumbers have just started to take over and they are gangster. And you can see they have leaves all around. So I got some more of the small leafy greens that are coming in. It's pretty cool. Uh, looks like I've got some beans that are starting to come out. Looks like some sprouts on there that are starting to come through. Uh, got a couple little mini bell peppers that are starting to pop. Like here, there's a couple more little ones over here somewhere. This eggplant, I tell you, uh, I come out, I do the hand, uh, 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 I say fertilization, that's not what I meant to say, uh, pollination on them, and uh, I'm not getting much out of it. So uh, it's basically just living its best life, but it ain't producing nothing. So um, coming out here and doing that, but this guy here, look at this. Got a couple little peppers coming over here with that. So I am more than happy with all the progress that's made, although I've got to get another little trellis or something like this to put the uh, cucumber in. I may have to transplant him into his own thing because he is just uh, a savage and just assaulting everybody else and he's going to choke them out is what I'm afraid of. Um, I tell you, this is one of the best moves I made is this, um, the savia, I have one over there, but this one has really attracted a lot of pollinators, which has helped out this garden a lot. So again, lesson learned is when you start gardening, make sure that you enter uh, space a little bit of uh, your some pollination plants that will attract the actual pollinators so that they will help pollinate your flowers on your plants, which that's help that fertilizes them so that they can actually turn into uh, fruit, which is a botanical term. Uh, I have some, you know, luscious marigolds, which are pretty hardy. And inside I have some 
bo uh, some forage that I planted um, to help with the tomatoes. They're kind of a companion plant for the tomatoes, so I'm working on that. Um, working that in, as you see, I've got a bunch more flowers and some little baby tomatoes that are coming in, right? Um, let's see there. So it's coming along. This uh, mint jasmine here, oh, jasmine. What was it? This uh, ice mint lavender is doing well, ah, and it smells amazing. So I'm kind of probably harvest some of this and use it mm, in a tea or something. And uh, some of my other pollinators are doing well. We've got a bunch of marigolds in here, which look good. Um, I've got some space in there, so I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. I just wanted these guys to take root first before I started putting a lot into it. Um, but yeah, this has uh, really become a little fun thing. As a matter of fact, I haven't been out here in a couple days because I just wanted to be surprised and uh, make sure that I wasn't uh, over tilling and over attending. Uh, but no, it's it's been working out pretty good. So I just got to figure out what to do with the rest of <laughs> the backyard. Um, I've got a problem with my uh, vision grill, Vader. Um, the, one of the mechanisms for vision grills is that it has a ash drawer, but the ash drawer is not like stainless steel. It's uh, regular steel, painted steel, and it actually rusted. So it's rusted shut, so I can't get the ash drawer in and out. And while I was trying to get it out, so that I can do a cook the other day. Um, it uh, There's a small crack starting to form where I, the astral goes, so that's tragic. So we'll see. I've already ordered a new um, Kamado. I'm ordering a Blaze Grill Kamado. It's uh, made out of a whole piece of billet aluminum, so that uh, won't rust, so that perfect. So I guess tomorrow morning, I gotta go in the office tomorrow, but tomorrow morning I'm gonna try and get in, get out here and see if I can uh, do some brush pollination with the zucchini to get something going. I mean, for sure, it's just producing flowers. But uh, yeah, this is uh, going great. Savage. So anyway, thanks guys, I uh, appreciate it. Just wanted to give you a little update on uh, where I'm at with the garden project. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, going crazy. I'm gonna have to get another one of these, I'll tell you that, so that I can put some of this stuff in because the plants have just gotten so big. Uh, I don't know if I underestimated how big they would get. Um, and then got a lot of the same, a lot of plants growing and helping each other, but I, I think I'm gonna have to uh, get another one to spread some of this out. Um, so anyway, thanks and uh, I will holler at you later.